Hey guys, Lazcast here, and today guys, I'm going to be bringing you an Amumu Jungle Guide. While we're just starting out here, buying our items and stuff, I'm going to be going through the runes and masteries I would normally take when I'm jungling Amumu. Now, when it comes to starting your jungle route out, though, I'd suggest starting out at Wolves and then moving on to Blue if you're playing with friends or your team or something like that. If you're playing with randoms and not many of them protecting the jungle, going to be help you out with the damage that you're going to have to do on the wolves, I suggest just going straight for blue, then you'll be level 2 and then you'll be able to take wolves yourselves. Okay, right, so when it comes to the room choices I've made here, on the reds you want to have greater marks of insight, get as much magic pen as you possibly can. A lot of your abilities that you will be using um, to perform your ganks, stuff like that, you're going to want as much magic pen as you can take. For the yellows, I'd suggest greater seals of resilience, so that way you're getting as much armor. You will later transfer into a tank, and it's also going to help protect you against the mobs in the jungle and against other players early on. So make sure you do get those marks of resilience there. For your blues, I'd suggest greater glyphs of shielding. That way you're going to be getting consistent magic resist that is going to increase as you level up. It's really good if you're taking on AP characters, that sort of thing, to get that early magic resist. Now, when it comes to your quintessences, I'd suggest two choices here to put in. I'd either suggest great quintessences of potency, if you want to ensure that you will get those early ganks off, stuff like that, really good choice there. But if you want the extra survivability in the jungle, I would actually suggest quints which are going to increase your army even further. Now, when it comes to this, it really does depend upon what sort of jungler I'm going to be facing. If I'm going to be getting counter jungle hard, from the start by junglers like Shyvana, I want the extra survivability in my jungle. Whereas with other junglers, I want to be able to ensure that I get the ganks on lane so I do go for the extra ability power. What I suggest is you play around with both quints, see which you're most comfortable with, and then go with that. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the masteries quickly that I do use for Amumu. I go with a 21-9 build, a 0-21-9 build, and with the main focus is being on armor, movement speed and making sure that those monster buffs stay on me as long as possible. Try to get as much armor as you possibly can in the uh, in the defense tree and also try to get a bit of, bit of health regen and also make sure you're doing a bit of extra damage to minions and monsters just to make sure that your clears are faster. When it comes to the utility tree itself make sure you get the increase on the buffs, the increased movement speed it offers and also the extra mana per level and make sure you're also getting Summoner's Insight and Summoner's Resolve in both trees. As the Summoner's Spells, which are most useful for you to use, in my opinion, are Smite and Flash. Smite so you can complete your jungle quicker, and Flash just so you can escape if things do go wrong, or you can flash in to finish off a kill. Okay, so I've picked up Blue, and I'm just clearing jungle at the minute. Now, the first skill that I do pick up is actually my W which is going to be our Despair. This will give you some nice AoE off from the start. And then the second skill I've picked up is my Tantrum at level 1. Now you want to try to get as much upgrades on your Tantrum as possible. So I'd recommend leveling up this skill as much as you possibly can. Just get some nice AoE damage on your ganks. And I'd also then recommend going for your Despair Ultimate at the usual levels 6, 13 and 18. And I wouldn't worry too much about your Bandage Hush, which I am going to pick up at level 3. Now what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to run in for my first gank on top lane. As I've seen Garen in a position there where I can take him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up, up the lane, spot Warwick there. And I'm going to go in with my W, get some nice damage down onto Garen. Get the Banish Toss off to finish off the kill. Bear in mind your Banish Toss does do a stun. And there we go. I managed to get Warwick the first blood. And I'm on pretty low life after that. So I am actually going to recall now. Now, when you are ganking, I'd say that mastering this champion, one of the hardest things to sort of master with the way you play, is going to be that Banish Toss. So I'd get used to using it. I practice in a few bot matches first. It's not the easiest skill shot to land. But once you have mastered it, you'll be ganking all over the place. It basically will also give you a stun on the target as well and bring you to them and that means that you'll be in melee with them able to pop your AOE, able to pop your tantrum, do some damage and either get a kill yourself or assist one of your teammates in a gank and be able to get a kill that way. Now you may have noticed guys that I am using my banish toss to get to the jungle mobs as well. It's a, a bit of practice when you're when you're using it, using the skill. If you are new, it, it helps with that. And it also means your jungle clears are quicker. Now it does use up a lot of mana though. That that is the disadvantage of it. I tend to use it a lot more when I've got my blue buff on, when I'm not so worried about the mana I'm using. But when I don't have blue buff on, 
if it if your jungle secure, you're not losing mobs, especially your buffs in your jungle. Just walk to the mobs, and, and otherwise you're going to start to suffer from some mana issues early on. It's a bit of a mixed bag. You just got to use a bit of your personal judgment on your mana bar and when to banish tossing and when to not on the mobs. Just use a bit of your own judgment and make sure you're not getting counter jungle too much. And if you are, just be sure to use it a bit, a bit more often. Okay, right. So gonna banish toss in there. See how much mana that she's. She's like a fifth of my mana to get in. Okay, when it comes to my item build, I'm just going to quickly go through that as we're not really doing an awful lot at the minute. What I have picked up so far on my character is I've picked up my boots and free. That's what what I started with. And now I've got my Philosopher's Stone out already. It's great for the health regen, the mana regen, and the extra gold. Great little item to start off with. Okay, so coming in here on Rengar. And I've spotted him coming through the jungle there. I've got our vein behind us as well. And we are going to pick up a kill here on Rengar. And Alistair comes around and there we go. Managed to get a kill there on Rengar. Foolishly running up my river, <laughs> as I like to call it. And I'm just going to go back now and pick up um, my blue buff as well. Amumu is a very blue dependent jungler as well. You want to be early on picking up uh, as many of those blue buffs as possible. I know your mid laner might start to complain a little bit, but you need it. And unfortunately, there are junglers out there like Amumu, Meikai, etc., which are very blue dependent upon that blue buff. Later on it's not so much an issue, but early on you want to be trying to get as much blue buff as you can because it means you can do more in the jungle, more ganks and stuff like that. But I'm going for the river and I spot Lulu here and I'm like, what the hell is Lulu doing here? So I'm going to run back to the brush and then I'm going to banish toss onto her with Warwick coming down. He gets his suppress and ulti off on her and we are going to pick up the kill here on Lulu. And then we're going to just move on to Garen here and I'm going to try and stop him from doing that. He flashes out and there we go, Banish Toss onto him so Warwick can get away, getting that stun off. Cassidy comes in as well. This is going to be one hell of a gank if we manage to pull this off. So here we go, I'm trying to run it in, and there we go. Pick up the kill there on Garen. Cassidy picks it up, so that's really good. Okay, so what I'm going to be going for now in my items is I'm going to be building a Heart of Gold, I do believe. Yep, there we go. Heart of Gold built, so there's your two basic items. And I'm also going to be starting to build my Merc Treads as well, so that's why the No Magic Mantle has gone down. Picking up a couple of Heal Pots and a Sight Ward. Remember to try and ward your jungle a little bit. It really helps with vision, stuff like that. Puts a little bit of pressure off your support as well, doesn't mean that, that they have to buy as many wards. I, I like keeping as much vision up as possible in my jungle or in the river as I possibly can. It's obviously going to be easier as some different junglers because, well... You can, you'll can you be building Regal's Lantern. Um, unfortunately, I would never bother. Oh, and here we go. Spot Rengar taking my wolves here. So I'm going to try and chase him down a bit. Alistair's coming in as well. He's going to be running straight back there. And he is going to get away, unfortunately. But it was a, a nice little try for us to try and get hold of him there. So we're just going to check around the river. See if he's hiding in the brush. And there he is. And we pick up the kill on him as well. A very good, quick, responsive team, unfortunately. So I'm going to flash in here. And I'm going to chase Lux down. Put my ulti down. To get the stun off, and I'm gonna, we're going to try to get a kill off here. There's the exhaust going down, and I do pick up the kill there on locks. Now, I did miss the bandage toss there, unfortunately. This is what I mean. Bandage toss is not the easiest skill shot to learn. The more you practice with a Mimi, the more you'll get used to using it. It's a little bit weird as far as skill shots go, but once you can land it, it's great. Now, I'm putting the ward down there in, in the river brush just to give us a bit of extra vision and stuff like that. And I'm going to head up to top lane now, see what's going on, and there's the Garen. And I'm going to banish toss in, get the banish toss and the grab off on him. And I'm going to run in here for the kill, ignoring the turret completely. So here we go. And there we go. We pick up the kill, but I'm about to die to the turret. Yeah, that was a bit of a bad turret dive on my part. But as the old saying goes, it was totally worth it. <laughs> and I'm just going to investigate their jungle just to, just to see if their buffs have respawned and stuff like that. And here we go. I'm going to go on to Tristana here. As uh, so she was wandering through the jungle. There we go. Ultimate going off. Now she should be destroying me. I am an AD carry, but I actually managed to get a nice bit of damage off on, on there. And Warwick responded. This Warwick was so good at responding to everything on the map. Really good Warwick player. And he was able to pick up the kill, and I was able to pick up the assist. Okay, so the next item I'm going to be building for Amumu will be my Sunfire Cape. Really, really good item. Most of your damage as an as Amumu is AoE. If you're increasing the AoE, it's really good with something like a Sunfire Cape. And you're going to be getting the extra health and armor as well. So it's a really, really good item for a Mimu. I've also picked up two additional wards as well, just to keep a bit of extra vision for us. Level 9 now, things are going well. My score's pretty good. So 2 to 8. I'm quite happy with that in the, this stage of the game. So I'm going to be wandering down to bottom to see what we can find around there. 
And going up now to the side brush, and let's have a quick look. Oh look, there's a Garen. Bandage toss onto him, and he's got his speed increase. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it. I'm going to flash to try and chase him as much as I can here. And there we go, he's running around the buff. Lux comes in, and she isn't able to really do an awful lot. Bandage toss onto Garen again, and I'm hopefully going to pick up the kill. And I do so with my ultimate. Now, you might argue that's a bit of a waste of enemy move ult, but I was getting really frustrated with him running away so good damn quick. So it's like I am going to take the kill here. And here we go onto Lurks. So there's we get, go, get a tantrum off on her just for a bit of extra damage. Now I'm being chased by two players here. So I am starting to get a bit nervous. Now three players as well. Got that Tristan jumping on top of me there. And I notice Warwick's in a bit of trouble. So I'm going to banish Toss onto um, Tristana there. And she's flashed out. And I don't think this is a fight we really want to engage in too much. So we're just going to hang around, see if they chase us. And if they do, we'll kill them. Like, let's take Dragon, guys. We've not taken Dragon all game. And we, we are like level 10 now, so we may as well try and take Dragon. Oh, and Rengar's there as well on the Dragon. So here we go, Banish tossing onto Rengar, and we quickly pick up the kill on him. I don't know why he's trying to sell the Dragon like that. And there's Tristan on the side. Um, Alistair spotted her with that ward there, and he actually goes in for the kill on her, which I find quite funny. And Cassidy as well, using his ulti to get over that wall, leaving me to fight Dragon. I'm like, I'm just not even going to be needed in that fight, so I'm just going to take Dragon, which I end up doing anyway. And there we go, Tristana is dead. So that pr proves the point there. So we managed to get uh, a nice couple of kills there at a fight at Dragon. Now, I could have banished Tostin as well, but Dragon would have reset and stuff like that. And I know that those two guys had that covered pretty much. So there was no real point. So it was just like, I'll take Dragon. If they started to get in a bit of trouble, I, I might have I changed my strategy a little bit. And then gone in and helped them with the kill. Okay, right. So we're actually going to push um, this mid turret now. Because we may as well. Because we've killed a couple of them. And there's just a Garen there in a Lux. And we are going to end up taking this turret. And there we go, guys. There's my Sunfire Cape built. Nice extra health, nice extra armor, and that nice AoE, which is just going to um, synergize so well with your Despair and your Tantrum as well. So definitely worth... And it also looks cool as well. It's, ni it's nice to play a little emo mummy who's on fire, I find. <laughs> which is exactly what that looks like, in my opinion. So yeah, a great item for Amumu. You will get to see the other items. The item build I use um, for Amumu, it really does work for me. There are situational changes that I will make to it, but I'll explain a, a bit more to do with that um, a bit later on in the game. That's exactly what I'm trying to achieve. So here we go. Bunny's tossing onto Lulu. She does flash out. And I'm going to try to chase it down, but I decided it's not really worth it. So, but she does come back, and there's the Warwick Hulk going off a nice press. And we are going to go in now and push this turret and try to get the kill. Now I'm at the back, Banish tossing on there, there's the ulti from me, and get the double kill for our Warwick, which really helps. And this is what I mean, you you are a bit of a CC machine, as we may as well. Oh, but there's a Garen over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Banish toss onto him, I'm going to let our Warwick get away, doing a nice little bit of peeling there, and Tristana's here as well, and I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can, chasing Tristana down, managed to get the kill there, and then we're going to try to focus Garen down, I'm like, I want his blue buff, let's kill him guys, come on. He's on such low life here, and I'm going to chase him around the turret and get the kill with Bandage Toss, and then I am also going to take his blue buff. Happy days. Right, okay, so now we're going to be able to push this turret now and get the kill on it. Lulu is there, but we're not too bothered. There we go. Me and Vayne taking that turret. So we are starting to get a massive lead on them now. I mean, look at that total goal. 24.8k to 32.9k. 1625 on the scores. This game is going really, really well for us. Okay, so I'm going to recall now, as I do have a bit of extra gold to spend, so I'm going to be looking at what I'm going to be buying now. Now, the next item I am going to go for on Amimi, by the way, is Abyssal Scepter. The magic resist, the ability power, says it all really. And I'm just wandering around, and there is still only three of us here, and most of the team's back up. Alistair's now here, our Vayne sadly isn't, and that, that was a slight issue, because I, I didn't really want to initiate at this point without our AD carry. But we're looking around at this turret now, we're just put, forcing a little bit of pressure... And Tristana will chase us a little bit, but it's just like, let's get back. We've not got a AD carry here. We kind of need him for that extra damage, especially if we're going to push force a teamfight under one of the turrets. So it was uh, not a good um, time to start a teamfight. And remember that when you are playing any form of tank um, or any character that is going to initiate, that make sure when you start a teamfight, your whole team's there for a start. This is what I mean about map awareness, especially looking at the minimap. Whenever you want to start a team fight, you want to ensure that your entire team is actually ready for a team fight, and then to focus the right targets down as well. Okay, right. So I'm looking around here at the turret. 
all our team is here now, so we're just going to clear clear some mobs. We're putting a little bit of pressure on this. Look, so managed to dodge that quite easily. Unfortunately, that just does get hit, but <laughs> putting him on very low life, and he's forced to recall. Oh. Okay, yes. So I am now building my abyssal scepter. By the way, there is the ability power, the blasting one for it, and the negation cloak. So that, that will be my next item that I will be building. And after that, I would go for Aurelius and. What you want to do then is after you've got those items, is you then want to, I'd say, turn your Philosopher's Stone into a Shrelius, because that's a, a great item, and then turn your Hot of Gold into a Randuin's Omen. And that will pretty much finish off the, your item set completely. Now, the other the other options you can go for, or you can you can go for a Frozen Heart, It's there's no problem with that, it, it is a great item. And the other option that you've got there as well is your force of nature as well. So you've got a, f a few choices there, like item-wise. My, my item build, like I said, is a mix of ability, power, armor, and health, which works really well for me. But you might want to change it up a little bit with something like a force of nature. And if you're getting focused a lot in team fights, I mean, it can happen. They, they see someone like an Amiri with the amount of CC they've got, the way they can peel, and the way they can change the fight, and they will just focus you down. You may even want to consider a Guardian's Angel. I mean, why not? It's, it's such a good item. The, but I'd only really go for that if you are being majorly focused down in team fights. Otherwise, I just I wouldn't bother with it. I mean, mo mo most teams will try to go for your AD carry, your AP mid stuff like that. The stuff that's doing the damage in team fights. And if they're if they're if they're doing that and ignoring you, you then need to slip into the mindset of the tankers. I've got to peel for them. I've got to negate as much damage for them as possible. And with a Mimi, you're going to do that with your banish toss and your roll. And that's basically it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we're going to push mid here. Taking, taking a look around, see that Garen over there, and we spot Lux there on mid with Lulu, and we're just sort of milling about a little bit, putting a little bit of pressure, getting ready for a team fight here, because we are in a position to take them out. We we really are, and uh, I think it's maybe a bit the the way I play. I'm a very I can, at this point in the ga game, I become a very aggressive law player. I'm I'm ready to team fight. I'm ready to win team fights. And it looks like our work is as well, so here we go. There's my ulti going off. Managed to capture a nice few of them there with the stun. And there we go, we're going to pick up a double kill for our Cassidy there as well. And Tristana comes in on our work, and I'm going to banish Toss to peel her off. Fighting her under the turret. Might not be the smartest move on my part, I have to flash out. And But Cassidy picks up an ace, so that team fight went really well for us. So we're going to be taking down this turret over here now and then we're probably going to push the advance a little bit but not too much we're in a good position we can pick up Baron at this point as well as that's another viable option and I'm just like should we take this turret down I want to see we're a bit mangled to be fair I'm on 60% works on about 40% and casting on 35 so no real point in pushing the advantage when we're on the, that low life and here we go into the tri brush big massive team fight kicking off here look at the damage we're pulling off ulti and Stun from me there as well, and we pick Vayne picks up a nice double kill. Lulu is there, Cassidy's there. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Let's let's go in on this Garen here and get the kill on him. And Cassidy's on very low life there, but we do actually pick up Rampage as we just dominated that team fight completely. Really bad positioning on their part to try and engage us all clumped up by that, where I can get the most out of my AOE. Alistair can get the most out of his AOE. It was just a really bad place. I think we just got co caught completely out of position there. And we will end up taking another turret here as well. 33 minutes into the game. And I'm just like, guys, come on, let's try and take another one. We just pretty much wiped their team. So I'm going to roll up to this turret here. Let's take a look. And nope, there's a couple of them up. And I think at this point we are actually going to go and grab Baron. <laughs> and here we go, team fight kicking off again here. I'm just like, let's kill this Lulu. Oh, look at the damage on that Cassidy in there. Oh, that was insane. And there we go, we kill Lux as well. <laughs> Cassidy just destroyed the player there. That was insane. And again, Garen comes in a few seconds too late when we're in the side rush and we're able to pick off another kill. And there is Lulu and Rengar. They're running back. I thought they'd gone that way. That's where the Banish Toss went off there. And I'm just like going to be looking around for them. And I was I was feeling a little bit more aggressive now, <laughs> a little bit god mode as it were. <laughs> and I'm just gonna head down there, and I'm I'm just thinking, the team fight's gonna be over by the time I get there. 
how wrong I was proven. <laughs> as you guys will see in a few seconds time. So I'm trying to run down as fast as I possibly can here. Going through the jungle. And we've already picked up one kill on Tristana. So going down, seeing what's up. I know Warwick's in there. Warwick was a machine <laughs> at this point in the game. So here we go. Vanish tossing in. Popping Molly down to get the stun off. Trying to help out my team as much as I possibly can. Looking what to focus. There's Rengar trying to get the kill off on him. He ulties out of there. And Garen is still behind our Alistair, putting him down a bit of damage there, he knocks him up in the air, and there's Lux, and I get the kill off on her, and here's Garen as well, trying to chase him as best I can, and Rengar, and they do get the kill off on them, and I'm in the 2v1 scenario now, and there's Rengar running away, get the Banish Toss off onto him, and get the kill off on Rengar. So there we go, and Garen decided not to chase me at that point, probably wise on his point to be quite honest. So I'm going to be looking to finish off the item, and there we go, guys. That is the really is crystal set to bought 500 health, 80 ability power, and dealing spell damage slows the target movement speed by 35%. So it's a really nice item for you to get as a Mumu. Now, if this game had gone on longer, as you can see from the clock, we're almost done. I would have ended up chaining these two items out. I'd have got my Shrelias, and I'd have also got my Randuins. And there we go. We've picked up the kill on Baron, and there's a bit of a team fight going off. I think they were trying for a steal. Banish Toss unfortunately missing, but we will get the kill anyway. And I'm just like, I'm going to hang here for a second, I can see what's going on. And I'm actually going to Banish Toss across here, as soon as it's off cooldown. And there we go, Banish Toss going off. And we get another kill, uh, nice little stun. And Lulu will die end up dying as well, and we pick up a triple kill here towards the end of the game. And Vayne picks up the ace as well. Okay, right, it's going onto this turret now. Going to take that down, going to be... No remorse anymore, we've got Baron, we don't care, we're going to push as much as possible, trying to end this game now, we are in a position to do so, we've aced their team, so we're going to be taking down this inhibitor turret here, going for that, we'll get that down, and then it's like, let's get the inhib as well, why the hell not, it's now open for us to destroy, so there we go, an inhibitor getting destroyed, and I'm like, guys, let's just cut straight across the map here, let's go to the next inhibitor turret, take that down, next inhibitor here, going to get rid of that as well, here we go, that inhibitor's now gone, and I'm just like, yeah, let's continue as we've um, been meaning to go on. Third turret here, and inhibitor as well, let's take take all three, why the hell not? We are here, we are in, with Baron Buff, we mean business at this point. So here we go, third inhibitor turret going down, and Vayne just wandering around, waiting for them to respawn there at the spawn, and getting kills off on them as well, as we are going through turrets and inhibitors like a hot knife free butters, guys. This was just insane at the end here. So there we go, all three inhibitors down, all three turrets down, and here we go, there's my ult going off there, onto Garen, trying to get the stop off on him, and we're going to get the kill off there on Garen, there's Lulu and Lux as well, and we're just like, we're going to push your inhibitor turrets, sorry, your nexus turrets now as well, and we're going to finish this game off, it is game over as far as we're concerned, there we go, I pick up a kill there on Lulu, um, not too bothered about the minions, taking a bit of turret damage myself, not too bothered about it at this stage in the game, just because I'm able to resist so many turret hits. And we do actually get a shot. They do actually get a shot down there, onto our Cassidy as well. So here we go. First Nexus turret has been destroyed. Second Nexus turret will be going down now. And then if any of them are stupid enough to come out the spawn, we are just going to kill them straight away. We still have Baron. There we go. There, Banish tossing onto Tristana, and Warwick does an ulti as well just to finish her off. And we chase Rengar a little bit. I'm not too bothered about him, to be quite honest. Brave, brave Alistair taking shots from the laser, but he doesn't die. And there we go, guys. That is victory. That was a really good, fun game. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a guide I put in there as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you'd like me to do on a, a guide on any junglers which you play, which you're looking for tips on and that sort of thing, let me know in the comments as well. Please leave me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.